Hi everyone, it's Chris here from OPMC and today I'd like to introduce you to our Odoo for WooCommerce connector. This is version 3.4.1 of the connector and by the time you watch this video we may have released a number of new versions. So please check the latest version on our website woocommerce.opmc.com.au or on woocommerce.com. Once you've been, uh, purchased and installed the plugin on your WordPress dashboard, you can go into WooCommerce settings. And once you're in there, once it loads, you will click on integration and then Odoo integration. You'll see immediately at the top here it says that the integration server URL is invalid. That's because I've put pretend information into this form. So it will tell you straight away whether your credentials are incorrect or not, which helps a lot in problem solving. The plugin supports Odoo versions 13 through 16 at the time of making this video. So you select which version you have, because some people do have older versions. Then you can select a server URL for your database, your Odoo database, database name, username, and password. These are, this is the basic settings tab. You also have the ability to turn on and off the debug log. And for non-technical users, that just is a way for us to get an idea of what's causing problems that you're having and you can supply that information to us when you are reaching out for support. Uh, for technical users, uh, it does provide you with the ability to log more detailed information and better problem solve yourself. We also have SKU mapping. So there's a couple of different ways that Odoo does this and you can choose the way that best suits you. Then we have the import tab and it's made up of a couple of key features. You can select the frequency of various imports and a whole bunch of other settings too, including manual settings. So here we can select uh, the frequency of importing products and we have the option to do that uh, twice a day, once a day or every hour. Then we have a couple of other options here, which is the um, whether or not we import products, as well as an option to manually import products if that's what you'd like to do. You can also have the option to exclude point of sale products as well. So if you're not selling them on your website, uh, that's a really handy functionality. You can choose whether or not you update products, whether or not you synchronize stock and the pricing, because those are things that maybe you want to have more flexibility over. So it does provide some granular functionality in that regard. Again, for uh, importing categories, you can choose the frequency of that, whether or not you import categories, and also for attributes as well, um, the same set, same settings. In terms of order functions, we can decide uh, how often we update customer data and whether or not we update customer data. You have the option to uh, just determine how often you sync order information. We also have the option here to import orders from a certain time period, which is really handy. And uh, we have the ability to choose the uh, frequency at which we sync information about order refunds, as well as whether or not we, we do that at all. And you can select to manually select a period of time that you're syncing customer data, which is really handy. On the right hand side here, we have discount functions. So if you have coupons, you can sync those, uh, the frequency you desire, as, whether, as well as whether or not you actually uh, sync that information and update it. 
Finally, we have the export tab. And the export tab has pretty much the same settings. And I'll go through that, uh, the differences. Uh, but you can also have the option to exclude products by categories too. So if you don't want to include all your product categories, then you don't have to. And the other settings here are very much the same as the import tab. So I won't go into the details of that, but you can pause the video to see those details. But we also have uh, a few other things here. You can export the order on the checkout. You can export invoices. You can mark invoices as paid. Um, get that data synced as well. And uh, which is handy functionality. And, uh, and also for refunds as well. We also have custom status mapping, which you can select. And this allows you to map statuses inside of Woo to the statuses in your Odoo instance, which is really handy. And you have the option to add more mapping as you wish. And uh, again, the frequency of syncing is available there too. Here we also have the ability to export orders in the same way as the import functionality as well as product sync you can select a period of time for synchronizing products and the same for synchronizing for customers this summarizes the main features and functionality of the plugin and gives you an idea about whether it might be suitable for you we would recommend if you would like to try it out and make sure it's suitable that you purchase the plugin because we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on the product. If it's not suitable, you can get a full refund and stop using it. If you'd like to find out more about the product or have any specific questions, please reach out to us via our website. Um, probably the best one is woocommerce.opmc.com.au or via support if you're already a customer on woocommerce.com. You can also, via WooCommerce.com, ask questions to support pre-sales as well. On those websites is all the documentation in full for the plugin, as well as some more product information on the product page, which we'll include in links in the description below. If you would like anything else, please reach out to us and we're happy to help. And Enjoy.